Yeah, it's an amazing question. I'm happy that you asked it. And I had a real hard time with it for, as a young person. And it's taken me a lot of work. And I'll be 41 next month. And I'm, I, I don't have it mastered. I'm just learning to play with that. And I learned to start to be accountable. And I learned to care more about how this person felt after I left them. And so I started to pay attention to what this person was doing in terms of interacting with me when I was communicating with them. And if I noticed that they were withdrawing or clamping up or not exposing or sharing or being generous or I was doing all the talking, I redirected my conversation. I asked more questions, I softened my voice, I let, because I wanted them to feel a very different way. And so I started to pay attention to the dynamic between the two like that. Uh, and, and like I said, I'm a baby with it. I probably started to get keen into it the last couple of years. There's probably another woman in the audience who could help you better with that. I invite her to go see her and share that with her um, because uh, I can only tell you this. Um, being uh, an angry, scared, resentful child, <laughs> and growing up to be a beautiful woman who was married and wanted to be very successful in business, uh, left me feeling very lonely and unfulfilled. I was successful, I made a lot of money, I have a great marriage, and I was left lonely and unfulfilled because people thought I was a fucking bitch. There's no friendship in that for me. And so I started to, to care more about being in love with everyone than being seen as smart and strong. And what I had to let go of was my anger and my resentment for what happened in my childhood, which is the work. I'm sorry to say that's the work. And in the letting go of, which takes a lot of tears for me, a new space and a new softness got created out of that. I hope I answered your question. And we'll talk more, we'll talk more.